Hello, uh, we're going to talk about the rules of indices uh, okay, that you should know uh, in your matriculation and during your SPM you have to know that actually uh, indices is a index is a very important okay, uh, for algebra, for mathematics okay, it's like a compulsory that you need to know, need to master index. So you know that index that have some uh, rules which uh, you already learned during your form 5 uh, so all right if the first is you must understand the a to the power of zero right uh, a power of zero any constant all right any constant that any number that power of zero except zero all right except zero so uh, it will be you will get one right you will get one so now if you have a to the power of uh uh, for example, 1 over 2, right? Let's say you have 1 over 2, you will get uh, square root of A, right? Square root of A. So you have A to the power 1 over 3, you will get cube root of A. So we just write a 3, a small 3 here. So if you have A to the power 1 over 5, then you will have write, written as A to the fifth root of A. If you have a to the power of uh, 3 over 2, so you will write as square root. Is it? Then you have written power of 3. Right? A to the power of 3. So it's the same as actually if you can if you don't understand, you can see that 3. Right? So then you have 1 over 2 to the power of 3. If you multiply, you will get uh, this one will be your square root or you can write a to the power of 3 right or you can write as uh, this one it will be right written as uh, a square root of a to the power of 3 right uh, then it's also the same as if you put the a to the power of 3 in front inside and the one or two outside right they can change so you become the square root of a to the power of 3 right they have carry out the same meaning so now so i want to conclude another formula here will be let's say if i have a to the power of a to the power of 1 over n then you will have n roots of a 1 over 5 <coughs> you will have 5 here all right 5 so the 5 the fifth root of a so if you have a to the power of m over n, then this is square root of uh, n root. The, 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 the denominator will be the roots and on top will be the power. Okay, a to the power of m. Alright, uh, this is something that you need to understand. Or you can written in the form of square root of uh, n root of a and everything to the power of m. It's actually carried out the same meaning. Right? I have explained again. If I have uh, 3 to the power of uh, 2 over 3, right? So I put the cube root, denominator is a cube root, and the 3 to the power of 2, right? 3 to the power of 2. So all I can written as 3 cube root, everything to the power of 2, which carry out the same meaning. So this will be the uh, <coughs> the third formula, the third formula. So another one will be if I have a to the power of negative n, right? Negative, negative will be the a power of n, one over a to the power of n. Ah, uh, this one negative n, one over a to the power of n, right? So this is the basic one that you need to know. Anything uh, power of zero except zero, a zero, we are not talking about a is zero, right? Any number that power of zero, you will get one. a to the power of one n will be n root of a, m over n. Uh, this is, I already explained to you, negative n is one over a to the power of n. So then comes uh, with another, this is the first part, first part, this formula, you can copy it down. So, if you have a to the power of m multiply uh, a power m which have the same base okay 2 2 4 4 <coughs> 5 5 then 
if you multiply, you can add up the index. Alright, you can add up the index. So, if you divide, uh, you divide by a to the power of n. If you divide you and have the same base, you can take the index. You minus, right? You take m, subtract, n. Okay, that's very important. So, another will be a to the power of m. N. So, you power and you power again. So, you will get A multiplication, multiply the product of M and N. Alright. Uh, so, I need to tell you that is the basic, the very important law. Let's say you have A to the power, <coughs> let's say you have A to the power of uh, M times with B to the power of M. Uh, Base different, but power the same. So you can write as a b to the power of m, right? Because you can read this a power of m multiply with b to the power of m. Or you have a over b to the power of m is the same as a power of m divided by b to the power of m. Alright? Uh, so I have summarized some for you. There are, okay, now you have one. Second rule, third rule, fourth rule, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, <coughs> let's talk about another one. Let's say uh, if you have a over b to the power of negative of a power, ah. Uh, you can the balik can this one, okay now. Uh, reverse. So A over B become B over A, but change become positive. Alright, so out of all, I think I have already complete list out all the important uh, index law or the rules of indices for you. So uh, let's look at the more uh, how to apply all this one. Do you going to memorize all this formula? No, you have to do practice, right? For some time, you will already master everything here. Then, you will no need to memorize the formula. Okay, let's look for an example.